Somebody needs to fire Remy Ma off state of the culture real quick. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black and neck on. So what's going on y'all? Welcome to another King of Reese TV video. I want to let y'all know that this episode of King of Reese TV is sponsored by For The Culture Podcast, honey. Go to fortheculturepodcast.com slash shop. Get you one. It's getting cold outside and it's about to be real cold because Remy Ma is about to get her ass dragged. Remy my girl, you just don't seem to get it, sis. Like, girl, like, I was trying my best to not even talk about you because we've already had this conversation about you and Joe Budden. Apparently, y'all whole state of the culture show needs to be canceled. Um, but recently, these, these turn of events have just made it, just made me just like cringe even more. So, um, on State of the Culture, the last episode that came on, Remy Ma and her Girl, I just her foolishness jumped out as always, and the conversation came up about um, R. Kelly and the documentary that is coming out. And the group started talking about if R. Kelly is a, you know, if he did this, what happened? Is he abuser? My mom's response was, I, "Well, I don't know too many rapists who who eat booty." <laughs> Girl, you just sis just doesn't get it. She just don't get it. And what? bothers me about Rima is that the fact that I'm okay with her not getting in and not understanding the difference between the two and all that. I, I, I'm okay with that. But it's the fact that she's very loud and wrong and that's what makes her dangerous. Like she has a massive platform and she's spewing this ignorance. Like and it's just over and over and over again and she's not coming to the understanding of trying to figure out, you know, like listen to other folks. She's just repeating just bullshit that she's heard on the streets. Little things that she's done with the group of 20 folks that she know and talking about somewhere. I know 20 people who've been in jail for stuff they ain't did and we know the justice system is garbage so why do you think for one second that somebody is not guilty or not what's the name that they actually didn't do it like no that doesn't that's not what it is like girl that this shit don't work like that girl you have a trial in public opinion and that's when r kelly is apparently becoming guilty in and i think Rima needs to understand consent power which they were trying to explain to her like access to resources and stuff r kelly has been doing this for the longest there's a lot of people who have came and been hesitant to talk about some of the things he have done look at um our girl k michelle when she did uncensored with um with tv one she didn't even want to respond to how she felt around r kelly also media was talking about it girl she didn't want to talk about it too much like r kelly has a history of it and it just seems like a person can continue to quack, 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 and you'll think it's a goddamn goose. No, R. Kelly's a goddamn duck, okay? And he needs to be ducking his ass in jail because this shit doesn't make any sense. But I'm not going to spend my time dragging R. Kelly because I feel like that's a waste of time. But the state of the culture show needs to be counseled or it needs to be eradicated. It needs to be something because y'all are not doing no work. Y'all are loud. Joe Budden, you are very aggressive talking to Scotty Bean. You don't let her speak. You're like, it just seems like you have so much like hatred towards like women and Power man, and it's actually scary to see you just about to just combust because someone is talking about something that's going on and so how they are affected as a woman. You would never be able to walk in a woman's shoes, bitch. I don't give a damn if you walk around with stiletto pumps in the club. Who ever thought that these women be in power, girl? I don't know what the issue is. Like, listen to her. Like, you don't understand what it is. You don't. And we already know that if anything, women are gonna get the end of the state compared to black men. So, girl, come on, well, black women in general. So, girl, I don't understand that. Remember, I'm sitting on here and just, like, she just does not get it. And you know what? I understand why you had that green wig on because you are a goddamn clown. That's exactly what you are, girl. You dressed up for Halloween before Halloween even came on. So, girl, remember, Mom? And State of the Culture Show is just a big disappointment. I honestly think all the advertisers should pull out uh, because y'all are not doing the work and just seeing some of the stuff and how y'all just don't seem to get it. It's just like blatant, obvious stuff. Like, I can understand we breaking out a conversation and to the lowest common denominator, but the only lowest common denominator is Remy Ma and Joe Budden being on this show because y'all are not adding anything of substance. Y'all are loud and wrong and completely ignorant. Speaking of ignorant, let's talk about um, y'all favorite white woman, Kim K. Kim K um, used the R word. If you don't know what that is, Google it, honey. And she got her ass roasted. Um, they said, girl, you ain't gonna be doing this. 
I'm not surprised her husband is Kanye West. He said he was been used by um, Donald Trump. We've been telling your not need ass this shit for the last I don't know how long. Like Kanye West at this point, you enjoy tap dancing, continue to wear your metal tap dancing shoes and do whatever you got to do because we've been done with your ass. We've been telling you that for a minute. And if you have not checked out the past episode of The Great Mind where they talked about Kanye West, it was great. One of the best episodes um, to date to me. It was just great. Like a lot of positive folks was on there giving some good shit. Like the grapevine is doing everything with this new setup and everything. I'm just so happy for some black creators out here doing the damn thing. Shout out to Ashley. Shout out to my guy Donovan. As you all know, Halloween just passed. So a couple of white folks decided to put on some um, black face. It happens every year. Hi. Uh, how you doing? Halloween uh, costume contest. We do it every year. So it was a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. <laughs> Our first caress. I mean, girl, we expect this every year like it happens. So um, a nurse in Missouri, um, apparently she and her husband thought it was a good idea to dress up as Beyonce and Jay-Z, and they did it in the blackface. Um, it just, why not? Why not? And why not post it on, the, on the Facebook and Twitter and stuff so people can see it? So she's been fired. Um, so let's talk about that. Not just the fact that she's dressed up in blackface. We know white folks don't do that at this point. They just want to, they just looking for some attention. But if a person is doing that, um, in the history that comes with blackface, and we know that, like, we know the racial context behind that stuff in the history, the long history of, like, blackface period um you know folks were mad at al roca for dressing up as i think what is the back to the future guy like oh this is white face there's no such thing as white face white face has no historical context um it's no nothing like i don't know it's almost like saying um you, me saying something about a white person um is racist no girl it's not at all like girl you need to understand it and before you take your ass on google and type in racism um, understand that, that a white person wrote that as well so with that being said um this person is a nurse we already know that um, in, in the medical world, um, when it comes to black women giving birth and um, brown women giving birth, uh, we know their mortality rates and people are not listening to them when it comes to like, when they're talking about them being in pain and all that, we know all of the history behind that shit and how they treat black women and even brown women when they sit up here telling you like, I'm hurting, um, I think this needs to be done and they're not listening to them. So this woman dressing up in blackface gives me the idea that she's probably racist and she doesn't care too much about black folk. So what do you think she's going to do when she's in the room and she's treating a black woman? She's not going to have as much respect for her, okay? So we need to understand that like, anybody that's out here doing blackface deliberately and 2018 and has access to social media, Facebook and Twitter are doing it intentionally to be racist and they need to be dealt with accordingly. This woman got fired, but she's a white woman. She can easily go to another um, hospital or anything and find another job. That's the system. That's the system we're talking about. When people talk about some, oh, you hate white folks, y'all, da, da. No, we hate the system and the system allows her to continue to do this bullshit and not be held accountable. That's the system we're talking about, okay? Look it up, get into it. Um, all this stuff is just, it's just very disappointing but not surprising at all because it's just what it is. A couple of people were tweeting some support to some black girl that dressed up as Sharif for uh, um, Halloween and some black folks were like, ooh, girl, yeah, y'all ain't dressed up in blackface. Invite y'all to the cookout. Girl, which y'all don't stop inviting white folks to, uh, to the cookout with some goddamn potato salad with raisin. I don't understand what it is like every time a white person is not racist or not doing anything that is racist oh y'all we want to clap them and invite them to the cookout so they can infiltrate and kill all our asses <laughs> like <laughs> I just don't get it I just don't understand why sometimes we are so quick to allow them to come into our spaces just because they're not being racist like oh, what, what is it that's not something to celebrate there's nothing to celebrate at all if anything i appreciate a white person that use their power um and influence and their privilege to make a difference but not to them here just not like is that the bar is like that's that shit is low as hell like hey i bet you one of the motherfuckers would be like vote blue across the board since we're talking about voting blue girl let's talk about politics right now i am heading taking my ass to vote in just a second doing this early voting because i do not want to be out tuesday trying to do this year uh, please get out uh, make your voice be heard i'm not going to give you this whole democratic spiel or whatever but just know that um it's important to know the people that you are um putting in power make sure you get out i know it is difficult special when you're trying to like wait in line for two or three hours to get, like it's terrible, y'all know voter suppression is real. If you have not checked out the article on that, check it out on kingareese.com. Talks about voter suppression and why it's important for us to be out here voting. 
Um, I'm not going to tell you to vote Republican. I'm not going to tell you to vote Democrat. I'm going to tell you to get out there and make sure you understand your candidates and the impact they have when they are in these uh, positions of power. So it's important. I'm shouting out Stacey Abrams. She out here doing it. She's doing the work before it was called Trendy or whatever, before it was called Woke or whatever it was called. But Stacey Abrams is out here. Um, you got Oprah out here tap dancing her ass and helping her out knocking door to door. We love you, Oprah, for what you're doing. I appreciate you. I think Obama's supposed to be coming sometime this week as well. But shout out to Stacey Abrams. Shout out to all these black and brown folks who are running for, um, you know, governor um, races and mayoral races and um, Senate races and stuff. Shout out to these folks. Also, Andrew Gillum um, in uh, Florida. I think he has a good chance of winning, and he's been holding his own. Like, it's just been on it. And these people are upset because folks are out here making a difference and saying, look, I'm going to make I'm going to make a difference for my community. I'm not going to sit back and watch. And we all have a position to play. If you're one of those people who feel like that voting is not Boy, you ain't gonna do it. You just feel like it's a waste of time and ain't gonna make a difference. Find another way to impact your community. It's many ways. Like it's like we need a big ass toolkit. Like we got a, we got a big ass toolkit, like some scraps and stuff. But we can make it work. Whatever. Like we can. Like it's important for us to do something for the next generation. Ariana Grande or whatever how you pronounce her name. Um, it's on her shady week, okay, girl. She is not here for Peter Parker ass. <laughs> what is his name? Pete Davidson. Girl, she shaded the shit out of his ass on Twitter. Um, you, as you know, Pete was on Saturday Night Live proposing to like did a little snippet of him proposing to some girl. And uh, Ariana Grande tweeted out and said, "Girl, for somebody who doesn't like to be uh, for no attention, you show sure trying to hold on to a little bit. You get me? I don't blame you. Drag his ass." Pete is um, a cheese cracker um, of the cheese it. Uh, he walking cheese it. He looks disgusting. He's like he need to be put in the washing machine and steam pressed. Like Jesus, he just I just don't like him at all. But he's garbage, and I'm glad that Ariana knows he's garbage, and she can move on and take the garbage out. Find you another um, garbage can or something, please. All that being said, this is your King of Reads TV video um, for this week. I love you all. I got a lot going on, as you can see. Um, Broken Homeless Tour 2.0, girl. It's been a long week for my ass, but I wanted to make sure I talked to you all and give y'all updates of everything that's going on. Make sure you check out the latest episode of For the Culture Podcast on ForTheCulturePodcast.com. Make sure you're picking up some merchandise at the site as well, as well as KingGarese.com, and I'll talk to y'all. I'll dress the host tomorrow.